hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to prevent closing of wizard when clicking on a button in it so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorial so the point that we will be discussing is about how to prevent closing of wizard when we click a button in it so in order to illustrate that we have got a wizard here so go to appointments then to the cancellation here we have a cancellation wizard where we can select the appointment enter the reason and on clicking the cancel appointment it will cancel the selected appointment so if you go to the pie charm here we have the custom add-ons and here we have the om hospital module and if i go to the wizard folder here we have cancel appointment dot py file where we have defined this transient model and here you can see this is the action that getting executed on clicking this button so here you can see the method is action underscore cancel which we have defined here so if i remove this tag that i have already entered here to reload the screen and if i refresh the screen so here you can see i have refreshed the uru instance that is i have restarted the uru instance and if i go to the ui and if i click on if i select an appointment so i'll select 0067 and on clicking cancel appointment you can see the wizard has been closed automatically so if we check the code we haven't added anything to close the wizard but after executing the action the wizard will be getting automatically closed so there will be some use case where people want to keep the wizard open in the same state with the selected values so let's see how we can achieve that in Udo latest versions so in older versions we were having an option where we can return something called ir actions do nothing and we already have made a video about that and it is not supported in the latest versions so let's see how we can achieve the same in odoo version 15 so what we have to do is that from the button that getting executed we have to return the same view itself that is after executing that button we have to return same action itself so that the wizard will be getting reappeared so let's see how we can achieve that in odoo so what i'll do is that here we have the odoo source code and what i'll do i'll search for view id so inside the odoo source code i'll search for view id and let me take a sample that i can deal with just to return the same action so let me get a sample that i can use so here i'll copy these Control c and i will paste it here so after executing this action i'm saying i need to return this action so type should be ir dot actions window we have to show form view so this is the form view of cancel appointment wizard so view mode form and rs model which model we have to show we have to show this model itself that is cancel appointment wizard cancel appointment wizard i'll give it like this and i don't need to specify the views Odoo will be automatically taking that view as we already as we have only a single view for this model so i'll remove the view id target new and context i'll remove the context also and one more thing i'll pass rs id rs id equal to self dot id because i need to open this record itself so i'll pass rs id equal to self dot id so what i have done is after executing this action i'm returning an ir dot actions act window of form view a form view with model this model and this record id so we will be restarting the odoo service and let's see what happens so i'll go to the ui and here we have the cancel appointment wizard i'll choose a record op0030 i'll click on cancel appointment and you can see wizard is not getting closed still it is appearing so if i remove or if i refresh and if i come back to cancellation and here you can see uh, let me just confirm one more thing so right now earlier i have removed the code for cancelling this appointment so let me add that again so appointment is not getting cancelled self dot appointment id dot we were having some code here so let me take my local history 
local history show history for the code and if you check let me check the code that i have removed earlier there was the code which we are written to cancel the appointment yeah this is the code i'll copy on third six maybe we have written yeah two reasons i think so let me put this code also so we can get the local history from pycharm just select the code right click local history will show all the local history for that code section so here we were having this code so i have just added that so if you restart and if you come here so currently if i open the wizard cancellation and i'll choose my appointment i need to cancel op0067 click on cancel appointment and if you check the 67 is getting cancelled and still the wizard is not closed so in latest version you can keep or you can stop closing of the wizard by following this method i hope this will help someone and if it helps please do click the like button and let us know your feedback as a comment so that's all for this video if you like the video please if you like the video please do support us by having like comment and share so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you